This is RML695, and I'm here with JLS1114. Hello. And we are going to be going over a little comparison of the Plex Talk Pocket PTP1 and the Victor Reader Stream unknown model number, which I call the VRS. <laughs> um, to put it simply, these are audiobook players, but they're not like you would find in the library with... Um, Oh shoot, what was that project where you could just, it was like the book that was preloaded and you could, you know, just hit play and it starts reading. I know I did a review on that a while back, sometime last summer. Anyway, this is not like that. This is basically, uh, we have specialized books for because of our navigational needs. The acronym for this format is called DAISY, Digital Accessible Information System. And to put it simply, we can turn pages faster than you can. Yeah. Seriously. We could type in 300, and it would be there in the blink of an eye faster than you could probably turn to it. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. anyway, here's what we got. The weight on the Plex Talk Pocket is 3.9 ounces versus the Victor Reader Stream at 6 ounces. By the way, the Plex Talk Pocket is made by Plex Store, which is a trade name for the Shinano Kenshi Company of Japan, and Victory and the Victory Reader Stream is produced by Humanware of Canada. Made of aluminum. Yeah, that's why it, that's why the weight is a little bit heavier on the stream. Playback time is 10 hours on the Pocket versus 15 on the stream. Both units can hold 32 gig um, se secure digital high capacity cards. The included card. Now, this one's interesting. With the Plex Talk Pocket, you automatically get a 2 gig card. With the stream, you can get a card pre installed, but only if you were to get it through your participating library for the NLS. And wasn't that a pilot program only that you had to be a part of? Um, no, I didn't have to try it to get it. But I just, I, in my situation... Well, what I mean, didn't, I just, didn't you have to be, like, part of it? Because I know that they that had a beta program going on for the Bard service. Before uh, it went into full swing. Uh, and for those of you who do not know, Bard stands for Braille and Audio Reading Download. The NLS is the National, is the National Library for the... Uh, National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. Oh, you're, you're right, you're right. I did read that they extended the pilot to the download thing, yeah. <clears throat> the record time on the stream on the pocket is ten hours and it's unknown on the stream. My theory is if you're gonna record a lecture, you know, it's best you get the pocket and you'll see why in a moment. Both units support the following formats. NLS, RFB and D, which is reading for the blind and dyslexic, which to put it simply is our textbook repository. Yeah. Uh, Bookshare, which is a not for profit um, $50 a year membership, but university students can have it for free as, as well as students in the public school system. And they can upload, they basically, it's like the NLS except they have a, what would you say their selection's better or worse? Um, I haven't got to use the, much of the, N it kind of, I don't know, it varies. It depends on what you like. It depends yeah. on categories, I yeah. would say. <clears throat> they also support MP3. Uh, HTML with Daisy navigation. Now we agreed last night. This is the second take, by the way, on this because iMovie decided to throw up at the very last minute. Um, this, we agreed last night that both units can support HTML with Daisy navigation. Yes. Okay. Both units can support um, text files, but only the Pocket can can uh, work with Microsoft Word, and we'll see why in a moment. Both units can support WMA, but what's interesting is that with the pocket, they said that they said very specifically at the moment, which makes me wonder if the unit's not going to be able to support un or um, I'm sorry, it supports unprotected, but it's probably going to be on its way to supporting protected. Excuse me. Um, the pocket can support AUG files. The stream cannot. The pocket can, uh, basically what we have is daisy recording. You can actually insert daisy headings in the middle of a document. Not only that, you can take a recorded document and through the menu system without a computer,
turn it into a book and the stream does not have that capability. Analog to digital conversion, there's actually a recording mode where you can switch it over. It's called analog cassettes. You can hook up a tape player and transfer your old tapes to, um, to digital format, again, without the need for a um, computer. And the stream does not support this either. Um, the pocket has both the line and microphone in. The stream, we think, is only microphone in, that the line in option is not supported. Custom recording modes. Um, the pocket can allow for conference, which is basically lecturing. You can do custom modes, you can do default, or you can do analog cassettes, which allows you to transfer again, analog to digital conversion. The stream has some of these, but not all of them. And um, if you want to take a look and see for yourself, you can go to the HumanWare website under blindness, or excuse me, you want to go to products, blindness, and uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's portable players, and then the stream will be under there. Uh, usable speaker, both have it, but unfortunately with the stream, very early on, that was not the case, so for a while the Plex Talk was way ahead in that regard. Both units support firmware update over SD cards, and the idea is that you take the file, you submit it to the root of the SD card, it finds it, it's completely automatic. Um, external USB thumb drive support, the stream and pocket both support this, but what the pocket can do that the stream cannot is support both external CD-ROM drives and hard disk drives. In other words, I could take my Time Machine drive or it used for something else and hook it up to the pocket and use that and back up, say, my books to a hard drive. NLS cartridge support, both support this, but um, with, the, with the stream, the word out is that there's an adapter. With the pocket, there is not. But we agreed last night that we don't see the need for it if the bard and the cartridge are both the same. Um, the operating system, well, at least for us, because we're both computer savvy, but if you're somebody who has a stream and doesn't want the bar, doesn't want the NLS's player but still wants the cartridges, that, you know, you could do that, do it like that. Um, yeah. And finally, we've got our operating system. It is unknown on the, on the stream, and for the uh, pocket, it is Windows CE. And for 359 for the stream, you get the stream or pocket. Excuse me, you get the pocket itself. You get a carry case. You get earbuds and the power adapter. And I can't remember if you get any paperwork or not. And uh, the and the pocket is three and the stream is 329. So these are two options out there in the digital book player market. And um, you know, just some stuff for you to consider. Incidentally, if you have, if you're getting this through your provider, uh, say your state services for the blind, this is my take on it, and I think JLS, you agree with me on this as well. If you're an audio buff, then you should get the pocket, hands down. If all you want to do is listen to books, then perhaps the stream might be your better bet. The battery life's a little bit longer. Um, the unit itself is a little bit heavier, but that's because you get, um, it's more rigid. But, um... You know, each has their strengths, and you have to weigh them out very, very carefully. At the time when I got the pocket, I got it because, again, like I said, until the most recent firmware update, I was told that the speaker on the stream wasn't very usable, and also the recording options were not quite as advanced as the pocket. I've had it now for a little over a year and a half, and the stream has come a long way. But again, you need to weigh this, you know, and see what you think. JLS, we've got about a minute left. Anything you want to add? Um... I do agree. If you really want the advanced recording, then you do need the box talk. But if you just want to listen to books and get the stream. But yet I have realized that the stream seems to be a lot more popular when people go to use audio books. Yeah. Now the websites for more information are plextalk.com. You want to click on the English link. And then for the stream, it's humanware.com. We are about out of time. Thank you for watching. Insults against either of us will get you blocked. Questions, just email either one of us, JLS1114 or myself, RML695. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.